Hi, I'm Kathy Adams Clark and welcome to um, my lesson on Photoshop CS6. We're in Adobe Bridge, the workhorse of photography. And today we're going to learn how to declare our copyright in our photographs and also protect them by adding our name and our address and our telephone number and our email address. And we're going to do that on this metadata tab right here. Um, I taught you how to do that in previous lessons, so if you haven't covered that lesson, go back for just a second, cover that lesson, set up this panel or this tab, and then we can put in metadata. So in this photograph, I'm highlighting it, and you notice that everything right here is blank under IPTC Core, and IPTC Core is where we put in our copyright information and our declaration. So to create a template for this IPTC core, I'm going to pull down this very little tiny triangle right there. And I know this sounds complicated, but once you do this one time, then you have it set for there, from there on. So we're going to pull down that little triangle, go to Create a Metadata Template, and in Create a Metadata Template, right up here, we're going to call this by your name, and then in each one of the tabs right over here, we're going to then enter in our information. And so we're going to type in that information under our name and our address. Under our city and our state and our postal code and our country and our phone and our email address and our website address. We're going to leave description and keywords blank. And then some of these other items I don't use on an ongoing basis. You might, so you can determine whether you want them or not. We're going to put in our credit line, our source, copyright notice, and then under copyright status, notice that this little tab, there's a little triangle right here. And if you pull down that copyright status, you can declare that these photographs are copyrighted or they are public domain, meaning anybody can take them, or it's unknown. So we're, of course, going to put in copyright. And then we're going to click also rights, usages, and terms in the event that we send this photo to somebody and we need to put that in there. So I have clicked a certain number of the fields and talked about that earlier when we were setting up the IPTC core information. And then you simply just fill in all this information, and I won't make you sit here while I fill it all in, except don't fill in description and don't fill in keywords. Just leave that blank, because that's going to be individual for every single photograph. Your credit line, your source, your copyright notice, all that stuff is going to stay exactly the same. So you simply just type in your information, whatever you want it to be, and then you give it a name up here again in template, and then you simply go click. And when you click, then that saves that template. And now when you want to add that information to any one of your photographs, you pull down that little triangle one more time. You go to replace metadata. You look for the name of the template that you gave it, and then you simply just click on it. And then voila, all that information is added in there. So I didn't type in this while you were looking, but you see that on all of my other photographs, I now have my name and my address and my telephone number and my email address and my website, my credit line, the source where it came from, and then more impor most important, every single one of these photographs I'm declaring as being copyrighted. And so that's how you, add, you make a metadata template so that now, from now on, anytime you bring photographs into Photoshop CS6 Bridge, you simply just do a select all, right click the little tab, replace metadata, and then fill it in. This is the one that I use on an ongoing basis. And now you see that all the information is filled in. And that's nice because that's one good way that we can protect the information or our photos on the web. It's one good way that we can protect our photos when we put them out on the web. Thanks very much for listening. I'm Kathy Adams-Clark. Come on back for another lesson.